Emperor Palpatine represents Hitler. They both ruled by fear. They wouldn't let anyone get in their way. Neither of them personally killed anyone. And Palpatine and Hitler ruled through good intentions at first to become Chancellor, as Hitler made changes through the Enabling Act and Palpatine through the Senators. <laughs> Darth Vader represents Heinrich Himmler. Both led armies, they both killed many people. They were both trusted by their superiors. Heinrich Himmler was in charge of the Holocaust and Vader was in charge of the Purge. Heinrich betrayed Hitler by going to peace talks with allies and Vader betrayed the Emperor by killing him. The stormtroopers represent Hitler's Third Reich. They were both bodyguards for the commanders. Weapons and attire were similar. The stormtroopers were similar to the German shock troops, and both had patches for their leaders on their left arms. The helmet is almost the same as the German Stahlhelm used in World War I. The weapons that the stormtroopers used were closely related to the weapons that the Nazis used, like the lager. The first Death Star battle was like Operation Chastise. The rebels acquired plans for the Death Star like the British Air Ministry had identified important German dams in Ruhr. The Death Star provided a massive weapon. The dams provided hydroelectricity to make weapons in power. The rebels planned out the attack and determined how to destroy the Death Star like the plans to destroy the dams were carefully calculated. Rebels used spaceships to attack and British uh, used bombers to attack. The rebels destroyed a small exhaust port while the bombers had to be accurate to destroy the dams. The destruction set the Empire back a bit, but not much, and without hydroelectricity, it was only a minor inconvenience to the industry or industrial outport. Star Wars was influenced by the climax of the movie The Dam Busters. The Battle of Endor represents the Battle of Midway, because both of them involved many aircraft fights, George Lucas watched the footage from the Battle of Midway and based and replicated the air combat. Dive bombing tactics were used just like the kamikaze attacks from Japan. The U.S. suffered minor casualties but left a big wound on Japan by destroying four carriers. Many of the rebel ships were destroyed but they managed to destroy the Death Star. Japan intended to eliminate the U.S. and the Pacific, and the Empire tried to destroy the rebels' base. Japan tried to lure the United States into a trap. It's a trap! The Death Star was actually operationally leading the rebels into a trap. Most important naval battle of the Pacific Campaign of World War II. Most important battle of the Galactic Civil War. Japan carriers were like Empire destroyers. The U.S. countered the, the Japanese, and the rebels, with help from the Ewoks, countered the Empire. <laughs>